Good morning. Thank you for joining me with Ask Granny Now editorial. So a lot has been going on in the news lately, and one of the stories that I'm following is the one about this young lady, 25 years old, that went on vacation with friends in Mexico, only to meet her demise. Her friends returned back without her. They say that she uh, had died from alcohol poisoning when they saw her mother. That is what they told her mom. So we're going to listen to a short clip of her mother speaking about what she was told uh, in the return of the friends without her daughter. So please listen to this, guys. Saturday saying that my daughter was sick and that she had alcohol poison. But her doctor had never arrived, so I don't know where they got the alcohol poison from. So at that time, um, they said the doctor was on the way to uh, examine her. And um, she um, wasn't responding, as they told me. She said she was resting a little bit, but she wasn't, wasn't all the way responding as normal. So, um, I told them to keep me informed, and I wanted to know why they couldn't take it to the emergency room. They said because they needed five thousand dollars cash to be seen in the um, emergency room, and I said, "Well, she has insurance." So they called the mother, and they said that your daughter is very ill. She has alcohol poisoning. And when the mother responded and said, well, why don't you guys take her to the emergency room? They said, the friends, that's the day, we need $5,000 so we can take her to the emergency room. And the mom would like, my daughter has insurance. Why can't you guys use her insurance? And uh, this is what they said. And um, they said they didn't take insurance by being being um, out the country to look different. So at that time, um, I told them just keep me informed. And they did call back, but they still saying it was alcohol poison. So by uh, later on that evening, they called and said that Shankula had passed. And at that point, you know, it, it just took my heart crumbled up, you know, just knowing my child was gone and I couldn't get there to her, could not do anything. And um, they said the medics came, three medics came, and no one couldn't do anything, couldn't save her. But um, I believe Shankula was already paid, said already paid. Next day, I got a call saying that they was over there fighting Shankula, saying they don't know why they was putting on alcohol poison, saying Shankula, they was by jumping on her. So, that's what they told the mom the first day. The second day, she got word that they was fighting her daughter. These people that she went on this trip with was gang jumping her. So they was beating on the daughter, and, and it was like with the friends that she was. It was like three, four of them against one. You know, she didn't have anybody to help her. Um, and that was really, really sad to take somebody out the country like that and then jump them. But this, this what type of friends that we have this day and time. It's awful. It's awful that uh, people have evolved to such vicious behavior but um it's sad it's sad to hear this um and in the end result the girl died so they beat her to the they beat her so bad till they killed her and I asked myself what have the world I mean what where have we become? What have we become that you can uh, beat somebody to death with your bare hand? You know, just beat a person to the heart, just quit on them. We living in dark, dark times, guys. It's, it's just terrible. 
And every day we get a different story and it always be worse than the day before. Um, we're still rearing over the death of Takeoff, the uh, lead singer in the Migos, a rap group, where he was murdered uh, November the 1st, really was still uh, October 31st because it was still dark outside, in my opinion. Uh, even though time said 2.30 a.m., it's still uh, October the 31st, which was Halloween night. And uh, it's just so, so, so much going on, and it's coming so fast at us. We don't really have time to get over one incident before something else comes. I mean, it's so much back to back to back to back, and it's coming so fast. And it just, it just makes you just shake your head and just say, Lord, have mercy on us. And that's my editorial with this uh, Shanquilla Robertson story. If you want to hear more, please put it in my comment section and I will bring you guys more of the story. I just wanted to come out and give my opinion and my editorial about this incident, but it's much, much, much deeper. I will be listening to hear more about the autopsy, and I will bring you guys more or the, uh, the people, the suspects, uh, when they're going to put them in custody and, uh, uh, and make them pay for this crime that they committed. Um, so I will be seeing you guys real, real soon for another Ask Granny Now editorial. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.